Hey everyone, Elwind Flyer here, and welcome back to my channel! It's been a long while since we've done an arena video, and I happen to be in town visiting my family, and that means I have Wi-Fi. As a lot of you know, I posted on Twitter that right now I don't have Wi-Fi where I live because I had to move for work. But since I have Wi-Fi, I thought, let's do an arena run. It's been so long. And boy, oh boy, this week was a struggle. I am only showing matches where I won, which was my five successful in a row. And I did use the tactical retreat both times. But yeah, this was a very tough week. I am starting in tier 20, which... I'm very proud of myself for being able to maintain that from last season, but yeah, Arena has become harder and harder, as I'm sure many of you know. But yeah, I I almost don't know what to talk about because it has been so, so long since I've done anything solo. I've been fortunate enough to have a lot of fellow Faytubers and friends who still are just so supportive of everything I do. So thank you to them. They all know who they are and they invite me on their channels to react or they come on mine and it just, it makes me so happy to still be a part of this community even though I'm not very active at the moment. So thank you everyone and thank you to anyone who has subscribed while I haven't really been active or has stayed and is waiting for me to come back and be more active. So yeah. I guess I'll just also talk about that my layout for Arena is a little different in terms of my background. I was super, super fortunate to have my good friend Spen, who was on my last video reacting with me and my fellow podcast enthusiast. They got some wonderful art of my summoner commissioned for my birthday. And a big thank you again to Spen. Like the I cried when I saw it <laughs> and just like it's on screen right now and I look amazing. I don't actually look amazing in real life, but now my summoner looks that amazing. So this art was done by Amber Lark Art. Their Twitter link will be posted down below. So definitely make sure to go and check out their art. They are just a wonderful artist. Their stuff is so, so stunning. So thank you to them and a big thank you to my friend Spen. And yeah. As for my arena team, the water season arena team has changed a little bit. Dimitri, of course, is still here. He is my go-to man. He is one of my two legendary heroes at plus 10. And I did update his build quite a bit since last time. I may have foddered my only copy of Duo Ike for Distant Dark and my only copy of Fallen Lilith for Speed Smoke. But if it's for Dimitri, then I have no regrets. And he struggles at times, but this build does help him out a lot. And then we also have Adrift Camilla, who has joined my water team. And I love having her. She is so much fun, and she has eaten quite a few units. She took a Bridal Sophia, a Valentian Pala, and honestly, I don't even remember who she got the part race from, but I don't regret giving it to her. And then our third unit, Winter Hilda, who has been on my water team for a while, has an updated kit. She still has the save skill, but I did get quite lucky and get two Valentine's Lucinas when she was rerunning on a double special hero banner. So I thought, you know what, let's give Hilda the skills she deserves because she is just so much fun and so peppy. And then bonus unit is female Shez. I, I maybe should have used male Shez as my bonus unit, but I have decided to make female Shez a plus 10 project. And you know, she's got good stats. She's got a PRF weapon as a demote, which is always amazing. And when pulling on the, I guess it'd be the Rearm Lift and Ascended Hilda and Shez and Modern, yeah, that banner. My free summons went very, very well and I got two male Shezes as well as a male Chris. So female Shez 
ate the male Chris I got. <laughs> so that fodder did not last long at all. But yeah, she was fun to use as a bonus unit and gonna be even better when I can get a copy that has either plus attack or plus speed and when I get more merges on her. I think she'll be really, really good. Whether or not I'll use her in arena as part of my arena core or if I will put her into AR or just general use, I'll, she'll find a place. So yeah, that's, that's the team. <laughs> Like I said, I'm at a loss almost for what to talk about because it has been a long time. And thank you again for anyone who has stuck around with me during my absence. I, I sincerely appreciate it. So I guess I can talk about the Halloween banner that is about to come up, which I was hoping I wouldn't feel any sort of temptation or urge to summon on. I'd, I'd like to try and save orbs and not be spending money on the game because it, it became become addictive and i moving out on my own and having my own job i have to prioritize my spending so i have limits that being fey pass because fey pass is far too useful <laughs> to give up it, it's way too handy but yeah the halloween banner it hasn't even been a year and we got another core and alt for those who remember, I absolutely lost my mind over Ninja Corrin, and the video never got released, but my initial summoning for Ninja Corrin, that was before there was a spark on seasonal banners when you had Fate Pass, and it took me 300 orbs to get my first copy. Yeah, that was painful, and at least this year there is going to be a seasonal spark, but like I said, I had wanted to skip so badly i did not want to but it's corin and she looks absolutely beautiful and just like looks like a nightmare of a unit that i don't want to deal with myself but <laughs> i would love to have and i would love to plus 10 eventually so the halloween banner will be a must pull for me and at least the tempest trial unit is one i want to build which is nils and Nils just looks absolutely adorable and super excited to get building him. It will be amazing. The other units as well on that Halloween banner too also look very solid. Male Corrin looks like a really good dragon tank. And then Naga as a demote is not only like a really good unit, but super good fodder. Just amazingly good with attack res catch three and attack res rain. Like, wonderful skills and then the duo of Duma and Mila super awesome such a cool such a cool duo and their art is wonderful and they will likely be a nightmare to deal with in arena and AR so the plan for my summoning at least is to pull every color it's efficient for orbs and you can't go wrong with any of the characters but Obviously, I would like more blue orbs than anything else. So, I do plan to record my summons for that. So, definitely look forward to that. Probably at the end of the month on Halloween is when I would like to post that video. It just depends on when I'm able to get back into town. So, yeah. <laughs> Going back uh, to the arena matches on screen. This match in particular was my scariest. I was so stressed out the entire time. Four plus ten duo units. And all these are very strong units, very powerful. I really had to think about every move I made very cautiously. I am not one of those very skilled Fey players who can play the game with no danger limit on. I need to know where the enemy will hit me. And yeah, it just, <laughs> I, I don't think I had yet to come across a team as horrifying as this one. And it just really, it tired me out. I had to take a break between this match and the following match because 
I just needed a moment to decompress afterwards. As someone who regularly bounces between tier 19 and tier 21, Arena, I try not to take it too seriously, but I do enjoy ranking higher and scoring well. So matches sometimes will take a while, or it takes me upwards of one hour, if not longer, to get a perfect five in a row. And I invest a lot into Arena units. I make sure they have skills they need, the rallies, everything. So, thankfully, I won this match. It it was a hard, hard match, and I'm sure a lot of others, like myself, have gone up against teams like this that just are completely, they seem impossible to beat. But you just gotta take some time and think about it. So, I'm sorry if I sounded so awkward <laughs> during this. I hope to find my groove again with recording, but it's it's good to still be in the Fae community and occasionally come back and do videos here and there. Obviously, like I've said, I'd love to do more regular content. It just isn't going to happen until I have Wi-Fi where I live. But I, I love my job and I wouldn't give that up for the world and having the chance to live on my own and experience a lot of new things and meet a lot of different people. But I'll never leave the fake community. <laughs> I can't. I just, I love Fire Emblem as a series too much. And there's just so many wonderful people online that I've been able to connect with and I've been able to make so many amazing friends. So I just, you know, it may take a while, longer than I want it to. It may, you know, be another couple months before I'm back to say weekly content or you know like a couple times a week would be ideal really but it may take some time so I hope you're all patient with me while I make my comeback eventually <laughs> it'll I promise it'll happen the the biggest Dimitri simp in the fake community will make a return it's just not gonna be for a bit or as soon as I was hoping it would be initially. So, thank you though, so much for being patient. And some of you have said you've gone back, who have reached out to me and you watched my older videos, which means a lot. Because some, I don't even watch my older videos because it's almost a little embarrassing because it's been over a year since I started. And it was definitely more nervous then, but I'm quite nervous now because I haven't done this in a while. So, <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this video though, and I hope that you all look forward to seeing me do more arena content, maybe showcases, tier list, and other videos like that. But please feel free to like and comment and subscribe. Take care now!